Uh, we do have a special guest with us today, one of our marketplace partners and one of the developers, Gabriel Solis from Treehouse Marketing. His company is actually doing really awesome things. You know, BD, we try to pump out as many features as we can. And actually, Gabe's company has done a great job filling in the gaps for some of the popular requests that we literally just haven't gotten around to yet. Gabe, I'll go ahead and unmute your microphone. And I do want to welcome you to the webinar here. Hello, hello, everyone. Thank you, Jay, for that introduction. And uh, thanks, David, also. I always love joining these webinars and uh, sharing as much as I can. Awesome. And I'm blown away uh, by this update. It's definitely something a lot of BD sites, not everyone, but a lot of BD sites uh, could benefit from the post filter builder plugin uh, that you've created. And uh, I just want to mention, as I mentioned, uh, Gabe is a marketplace partner. Uh, this is kind of where you can go if you're desperately in the need of features that aren't yet built in to the BD platform. I'll go ahead and share Gabe's a profile here from the marketplace if you guys want to uh, check out uh, some of the partner plugins they've created. Uh, these are paid plugins for the most part. Sometimes they're free, uh, but definitely worth it if it's critical to your business and to keep things running on uh, your website. So Gabe, I will, I'll let you take the lead here and you could tell us a little bit about post filters and the uh, post filter builder uh, plugin that you've created. Well, thank you so much. So yes, hey everyone, today I will be sharing a little bit about uh, what post filters are, when to use post filters, how they work on the Brilliant Directories platform, and how you can create your own custom filters with our plugin. So first of all, what are post filters? Well, essentially post filters are search criteria used to narrow down your search results. So the default BD search criteria is that you most uh, all know are keywords, categories, location, date range, and price range. And there's a little example of what a usual search filter uh, looks like with all the different search criteria that you have available. The next thing that we should talk about is when to use post filters, right? So post filters are really useful when you want to empower the people visiting your website uh, to narrow down the results of different types of content on your site with specific search criteria that are very personal to them, things that they're looking for. And, you know, search criteria can be used on all sorts and types of uh, directories like property directories, event directories, job directories, uh, coupon directories, classifieds, and, and blog directories as well. So let's talk a little bit about how these work on Brilliant Directories. Well, you know, Brilliant Directories has very kindly provided all of us with some very amazing types of posts, like the ones I mentioned earlier, and they all come with different search criteria options, like, again, keyword, state range, location, category, and, and additional search filters. But um, keyword filters, they require no setup at all, so you're good to go on that front. Date range filters require no setup at all. Uh, you're good to go. Location filters only require that you set up your Google Maps API. Uh, and there's some really cool documentation and videos on how you can get that going in your dash, Brilliant Directories dashboard. Uh, your category filters just need a little bit of updating in the uh, BD post settings uh, for every different type of post that you want. And additional search filters, well, you know, they require a little bit uh, more customization into your different uh, search modules. Uh, for let's say properties or events or whatever other post type you you want to create on brilliant directories and there comes the hurdle um you know we've created these we can go to the demo site real we're quick gabe together uh, if we go to demo bootstrap and we can look at some of the searches for the post types jobs i'll go to classifieds and and even properties you know these search modules modules by default we try to include what the most common things are people search for for these post types so jobs you know include type of employment categories and salary range um, classified it's pretty straightforward keyword category and price range it's limited but it actually does the job for about you know 90 percent of projects and property search has a bit more beds baths property type uh, status for sale for rent. This is pretty comprehensive, but if you want to add more, and again, we just haven't gotten around to it. It does require you to customize the code in these modules and and know how to connect it to the criteria of the of the posts, like the property listings and the jobs. So I'll just continue passing it over to you, Gabe. But that's the current hurdle and roadblock right now. Yeah, and now let's talk a little bit about how we create custom post filters to overcome this hurdle. 
us, you know, at Treehouse Marketing, we created this really cool plugin. It's called the Post Filter Builder. And this plugin will allow you to add as many custom search criteria as you want uh, to any default post search module on Brilliant Directories. And for today, we created an example car directory uh, for you guys and adding different search criteria, usual search criteria that a car directory would have to showcase how this plugin actually works. So guys, as you can see here, we have the car directory search results page. And what is really neat is that we have quite a few additional filters here on the side, additional search criteria. We have make and model, we have how many doors uh, are on this uh, particular car search, we have the car type, uh, and if we keep scrolling down there, we have a few other uh, options like the condition of the car and what color the car is. So if you're looking to add custom search filters to um, your directory here, uh, this plugin can allow you to really actually define any additional uh, search criteria that you want to add uh, via this custom search bar on the left hand side. Uh, you, we can do a quick example here. Uh, Jay, if you want to just, you know, search for Toyota Hilux, for example, and then um, a three to five doors. And then, uh, yeah, four by four truck. And then let's not click use because I can't remember what I checked there. And yeah, let's just hit search. So we're doing a custom search now for only cars that fit this criteria now. Nice. Yeah. And you can create any, it doesn't have to be for cars. It could be for, it doesn't even have to just be for classifieds. It could be for anything, right? Yeah, it could be for any type of post. It could be for uh, cars. It could be for events. Um, it could be for uh, services. If you want to add different types of services, uh, it's pretty robust. You can, all of these search criteria, make and model, doors, car type, all of these were essentially added by someone that knows absolutely no code in our plugin, and they were able to create all of these for the search experience on their website. So, Jay, if you don't mind, maybe we we log into to that website and we showcase the plugin a little bit. Yeah, give me a second. I'll take us there. Yeah, and as you're awesome. doing that, Jason, uh, I'll just chime in here and give you guys some more examples of this. As uh, we mentioned before, this is one of the most popular additional features that have kind of been requested that we just haven't gotten to yet, like Jason mentioned. But you see these types of search filters and criteria often on you know some of the most popular websites like AutoTrader, Yelp, Kayak, you know, just to really narrow down your search. So there's a lot of different possibilities for this. One of the most common requests that I've heard from our users who want to deploy something like this uh, is for real estate websites. So you can really add a lot more criteria that your users and website visitors can uh, check off so that they can uh, really narrow down their search and get exactly what it is uh, they're looking for. So this is a really robust plugin and uh, excited to see how this works. Yeah, so uh, guys, as you can see here, Jason just logged in to the plugin and it really lets you add in as many different search criteria as you want to any of the posts, post types that exist on your Brilliant Directories website. So as you can see, the first thing that you got to do when you land on the plugin is select the post type that you want to add uh, search criteria to. So right now we're clicking the cars um, post type and we can add top search criteria, sub search criteria and sub sub search criteria. So as you can see uh, back on this uh, landing page that Jay just uh, showcased, we saw that we had the top label there as the top category or top search criteria that people could actually uh, search by. And if we go to the sub tab, Jay, you'll see that we now have, for example, Toyota as a sub search criteria under make and model, right? And that's why it's showing up on the search results page underneath that dropdown for make and model. And we can go even lower if we go to the sub sub tab and uh, we can add the type of Toyota. So right now we're adding as a sub sub category, uh, Hilux, Cor Corolla and Prius as a uh, Toyota sub sub search criteria and that allows us to then display that sub sub search criteria on the uh, search results page so i want to actually showcase how this works a little bit so uh, jay if you don't mind going back to the search results page just one quick second 
uh, and just uh, at the bottom of the of the search module, just click clear filters. So we have the first car there, Suzuki Jimny. Uh, it's a four by four car, right? So let's go ahead and let's actually try to uh, add the model Suzuki and the type of model Jimny underneath the plugin. So let's actually head on over to the plugin here and under make and model, uh, let's just add a subcategory and we'll call that Suzuki. Mm -hmm. And then we'll select make and model as the associated search criteria there. And let's go ahead and add it in the sub sub. Go ahead and let's add Jimny and let's look for Suzuki make and model as the search criteria, save category. There we go. So now let's go back to the search results page. And what you'll see is that we now have the Suzuki search criteria and Jimny as a sub sub search criteria for Suzuki. And if we were to assign that category to this post, we I'm can go you. into that post and assign that category. Right. So as you add like categories or criteria in the plugin area, when you create a new car post in this example, those options will become available, right? So Gabe, another thing uh, to point out here is there is a setting with his plugin that he showed before where you know you can you can click multiple things and there is a setting to have an exact or broad match, meaning you as the admin can choose the results will filter that for all the criteria needs to be met by the selection, by the selected options, or if any search result uh, item matches any of the criteria that's been selected. So if you wanna show your visitors more matches as they continue to click, you would select the broad match filter, or if you want them to narrow down and get more granular and more granular, uh, you would choose the uh, specific or strict match uh, option with, uh, with this tool, and it'll start to narrow down options, which I, I think would be the more preferred method uh, for a filter like this, but it just, again, depends on uh, your website and, and the purpose here. We know that this is hot off the press, but I've seen this in action on some of the sample sites uh, that we can't show publicly, but that you were able to show me, and it was really, uh, really solid and really awesome. Um, I'll share a link again to Gabe's Marketplace uh, profile here, or actually, I'll, we'll just send a link to Treehouse Marketing, the development company for this plugin, and tons more. And um, let's see, we had another scope here. Why add custom filters? I think it's clear. Um, if you just have additional criteria beyond the default search filters that come with BD, uh, and you want to create a more enhanced uh, search experience for your visitors, um, being able to add custom filters uh, without any coding, really, as we saw how to add the top and sub and sub sub level categories for the search criteria uh, is really simple. Yeah, Gabe is discounting this for uh, the webinar here, but before you purchase, maybe you want to inquire and see if it's right for your site. You can email support at treehousemarketing.org.